Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play and earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And in today's video, I wanted to share a clip from last week's Splinterlands TV, where the question came up around buying land and is now perhaps a good time to look at buying land or is perhaps the future a better time and we discussed the topic and the reason why i wanted to publish this video today is because while the land 1.5 white paper is probably going to drop within the next 24 to 48 hours and it's going to have significant well knowledge drop to all the player base on what land means and what it could mean moving forward and as such the price of land depending on what's in that white paper could be drastically different once it drops it could be a lot higher or it could be a lot lower and we'll have to see but before we go into the speculation of what that white paper looks like i wanted to talk about the broader um environments and and talk a little bit about what could happen uh, that being said this is just a discussion it is not financial advice obviously do your own research but as we are looking here at March 16th, plots of land are going for $130 right now. And it'll be interesting to see uh, if we use that as kind of the measuring point, you know, what land looks like after the white paper drops and what land looks like after surveying happens and actually earning of rewards starts happening actively with surveyed land. So let's hop into the Splinterlands TV clip where we talk all about this topic. And until next time, keep stacking those stats. What is the best way for a player new to the game do regarding land? Many of us were not around during the pre-sale of land. How would you play it if you enter the game recently? Another great question, Solving Chaos. So thank you for that question. Again, not financial advice, but my thought is, is if you don't own land today, uh, don't buy land right now. Wait right now until surveying happens. And I believe that once surveying happens, people with regions and tracks may be inclined to dump stuff that they don't see as being useful to them currently in the near term or being too much of an expense and they see it as a liability essentially on the books i think there's going to be a a dumping of land once surveying happens and i think you're going to be able to get some great deals on land at that time if you don't own land and that's the time to strike honestly in my mind and I think the reason why, not all, but I think maybe a few region or tract owners will do that is because they're going to want to have liquidity. Uh, they wanna, they're going to want to have DEC to either buy cards to stake on the land or they're going to want to have DEC to stake the cards on land, basically. And how are they going to get that DEC or, or liquidity to be able to do those things? Well, they're just going to sell some excess land that they may not have a need for right because if you have like let's say you have a tract and you have 100 plots and you only have enough cards to maybe farm 30 of those plots what are you going to do with the other 70 plots that you surveyed and unveiled you could hold them they're not going to make you any money you can't rent them out initially you can't delegate them so they're not doing anything for you so I think some people are not going to be patient. They're going to say, hey, I need liquidity. I need DEC. I need cards. And they're just going to let stuff go at prices that are favorable to buyers. So that's my advice. I think, uh, I think it's possible that happens. And if so, be ready for it. Be ready for when surveying happens to... Uh, Buy some stuff on the non-card market that suits your fancy. Next, entertainment. 